As part of his push to win the 2022 election, Anthony Albanese convinced the Labor Party to support the Morrison-era Stage 3 tax cuts, and that's been Labor's position since until now. As the Prime Minister readies himself to officially break his promise and take the axe to the tax cuts, which is set to be announced at his National Press Club address today, he'll have to explain the backflip and ready himself for a battle as a breach of faith on tax cuts that could be politically fatal. Olivia Kaisley reports from Canberra. The challenge for the Prime Minister now is unifying his team around the decision. The first opportunity to woo any sceptics over came after a special caucus meeting on Wednesday night when he held drinks for Labor MPs at the Lodge. My job isn't to say, oh, I'll just wring my hands about cost of living pressure that people are feeling. My job is to respond, to seek advice and then to make a difference. As it stands, the legislated cuts are skewed in favour of higher income earners. The expected tweak will redistribute this among the lowest income earners, which welfare groups and the unions are embracing. The net effect of this means people earning up to 150000 will be better off than they would have been under the current package. But the benefit for those on the highest incomes will be almost halved. It's setting the government up for a bitter stoush with the coalition and business groups who are going nuclear over a broken election promise. The full details of the government's tax changes and cost of living relief will be unveiled at the National Press Club on Thursday.